Hey y'all, it is October the 7th, uh, 2020, 2024, and y'all just got done from a heck of a workout. I need to go take a shower and stuff, but I was scrolling through my feed, my Google feed, as they were um, nurturing me with information like I'm a baby bird. And uh, they hit me with this, and I am flabbergasted. I am shocked and disturbed. Oddly enough, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Have you read it? Have you read the top of it? The headline says, I've never experienced pain like that. Consumers pay the price for untested food ingredients. Might I say this, and this is the first thought I had before I read this stupid article. I haven't read it all the way, but I read part of it, so I know what you're in for. I wonder if you have some idea. It's even worse than you think. Uh, here's the thing. We're in 2020, 2024. I have little reason to believe that anybody should ever be eating food ingredients that are untested to this point. Uh, we've tested all the food that we will ever need already. There is no need to be testing out other unknown quantities. All right, but before we get into this, might I... Might I remind everybody, a lot of people already know, through your food, they're killing you. They want you fucking dead, all right? You are scum to them. I the think it's kind of hard to kill you right up front because then we get in trouble for it. So what they're trying to do, and I'm talking ceaselessly, is they're trying to figure out what untested food ingredients that they might be able to put in your food while you do not know and slowly kill your ass, bitch. All right, while you don't know any better. They don't, they don't want to kill you outright. They don't want to give you something that has to go to the emergency room immediately. No, they want to give you something and test it out and give it to you so that you die fairly soon. And that is the whole point. Anybody who thinks that I'm making this up, go ahead and suffer and die, all right? I'm sorry about it, but this is what they're doing. This is what they're up to all the damn time. And they're perverts. They're disgusting perverts. All right, so let's read a little bit of this. Daily Harvest, a direct-to-consumer food service with investors such as Gwyneth Paltrow. That's red flag number one. Serena Williams, red flag number two, fuck this product. If you have any sense at all, but you probably, if you're eating it, you don't have no kind of sense. They began selling what's called frozen vegetable-based meat substitute because they are absolute disgusting perverts. I'm so tired. Stop making meat substitutes, you disgusting perverts. So, by that June, Daily Harvest had voluntarily recalled the crumbles. They recalled the crumbles after receiving 470 complaints of gastro gastrointestinal liver, bile duct, and gallbladder illness. I mean, this rocks your fucking world, whatever this is. I've never experienced pain like that, said Corey Silverstein. Well, you deserve pain like that, Corey. You had it coming. Told, and he told CNN News, CNN Business at the time. He and his wife were among several social media influencers who were sent this product to promote. And they'll just eat whatever, dude. <laughs> Send them anything, they're going to stuff it in their faces. After eating the crumbles, Silverstein said he had to go to an urgent care center where his liver enzymes tested at levels 12 times above normal. Now, because of this and what you're about to hear next, y'all should sue the shit out of Gwyneth Paltrow and sue the shit out of Serena Williams, but I bet you they 
had you sign some paperwork so you wouldn't sue them. Another content, hey, did Gwyneth Paltrow recently go to the emergency room with a terrible, terrible sickness? I bet you she didn't. I bet all sort of money she did not do that. Another content creator who received a promotional package, Luke Wesley Pearson, posted that he underwent emergency gallbladder surgery after eating the crumbles twice. I don't know what the fuck that means. He ate him. He ate him twice, dude. What do you mean you ate him twice? Did you eat two crumbles? one after the other or did you eat a crumble feel terribly sick and then eat another crumble now you gotta have surgery what the fuck does that mean all right two other consumers told cnn that they also had gallbladder surgery holy shit this shit is a bio weapon on y'all's ass dude everybody's gonna have to turn around and have gallbladder surgery after this from consuming the meat substitute. I hope you learned your lesson. And no, you probably fucking didn't. You probably didn't learn shit. CNN reached out to Daily Harvest. And the company declined to comment for this report. I bet you. Dude, we don't have to read nothing else. They're trying to kill you. Oh, it's untested. Why don't they eat it themselves? Because they know better. That's why. I don't give a shit about you. And apparently you don't give a shit about yourself. I y'all disgusting perverts. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. I think I might get on live, but I might have to think about where I'm going to do that at. All right, so I'll holler at y'all a little bit later about it.